Hello everyone, I hope all of you are having a great time continuing the series of weekly contest 292. My name is Sanjay Dudeja, I am working as software developer 4 at Adobe and the first question in the list is largest 3 same digit number in a string. Here in this question we are given an input string that contains only numeric characters in it and we are also given a definition of a good integer. It means that it is a substring of the input string that is given to you with length 3 and it contains only unique single digit. What do we need to do? We need to return the maximum good integer present in that input string. If it is not there, then we need to return empty in those cases. Let's walk through an example. Here there are two instances. First you can see 7 occurs 3 times and in the second case you can see 3 occurs 4 times. So both the conditions are met and which one is the greater value out of 7 and 3? 7 is the greater value therefore we will return 777 as the answer. Here in this case, triple zero would be the answer. In the last case, there is no repetition of digits. Therefore, empty would be the answer. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the presentation and tell you how to go about the algorithm. So let's get started. Lead code double two six four, largest three same digit number in a string. It's an easy level question on lead code, and I totally feel the same. Also, we will be using two pointer approach to solve this question. And if you are not aware of two pointer in general, this question is for you. Here we will learn the basics of two pointer approach. Also, apart from this, if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to get in touch with me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description. So do check them out. Now let's get started. Uh, here the input string is given to us as 6, triple 7, 1, triple 4 times 3 and 9. So what I'm going to do, I'll create two pointers. The first one as the starting one and the second one as the ending one or the iterating one. So what we will do, we will use iterator i index for iterating over the input string and we will check whether this character is equal to i plus 1 character or not. Whenever it is not equal, we will reset the start pointer. So here you can see it's not equal so as a result of which we will reset the start pointer. Start now points over here, I also points over here. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is i is equal to i plus 1 therefore we'll increment i. Again i is equal to i plus 1 therefore we'll increment i. Again we will see i is not equal to i plus 1. So as soon as it is going out of sync these two are not equal. We will calculate the difference between our i index and the start index. So i index right now is pointing to this location. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is 3 and start is pointing at the first location. So 3 minus 1 plus 1 gives you the length or the distance between the start and the i index. So that comes out to be 3 minus 1 plus 1 gives you your desired length which turns out to be 3. Since it is equal to 3, what do we do? We found one possibility of answer and that possibility of answer will correspond to triple seven. Let's proceed ahead. Uh, going ahead we see that i is not equal to i plus one as a result of which starts get updated to this index i also points to this particular index. Let's proceed ahead i is again not equal to i plus one starts get reset to over here and i also points to over here. Let's proceed ahead i is equal to i plus 1, i is again equal to i plus 1, i is again equal to i plus 1. Here it is going out of string as a result of which what do we need to do? We need to calculate the distance since i is pointing to over here and s is pointing to over here the distance between i and s comes out to be 4. Since it is greater than equal to 3 this corresponds to the second possibility of answer and out of triple 3 and triple 7 which one is the greater one? The greater one is triple 7 therefore this would be our final answer and to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is constant time we are using two extra pointers to actually solve this question now as discussed i have created two pointers one start and other one i ans digit will actually store that particular digit that will help us derive the final solution so while i is less than the total length of string that we have what do I do? I check whether i happens to be equal to i plus 1. If that is the case, I increment the pointer of i and continue the process. If it is unequal, then what should I do? I should calculate the length between the starting index and the ith index using the formula i minus start plus 1. 
if my length turns out to be greater than equal to 3 what do i do i try and check which one is the maximum digit that i have seen so far so the ans digit would be equal to max dot max ans digit and the current character at the starting pointer once i am done with this i simply update my start to i plus 1 i also gets updated by one pointer once i am done with this loop i check whether my ans digit happens to be equal to minus 1 or not in case it is minus 1 that means there was no possibility of answer length 3 was never achieved uh, and in case it is not equal to minus 1 that means ans holds a valid digit so i append ans 3 times to generate my final string so let's try and submit this up accepted with this uh, let's conclude this session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you in some time with the rest of the questions.